pleased to be joined by Titans general manager John Robinson coming off a 42 to 20 win over Jacksonville. It's always a good thing. It's a great thing, Mike. All right, let's start off talking about the third quarter sequence. Your first four possessions, nine plays, 225 yards, in three and a half minutes exactly, you score 28 points. When you went back and watched the tape of that sequence, what jumped out to the GM? Well, I think the biggest thing was complimentary football. The fact that we were able to get the ball to start the second half, go down and put points on the board, come back out defensively, get a three and out, get the ball back offensively, one big play, one big run, score another touchdown, and the defense didn't rest. They went back out and forced another three and out, got the ball back to the offense, who was kind of hitting on all cylinders at that point, and we're able to get another score. So being able to play complimentary football offensively and defensively. Someone who had a big impact within that series is Darren Bates. What does he mean to this football team? Yeah, he, Darren's a good, he's a guy that loves football. I mean, he really is passionate, takes a lot of pride in his role on the team as a special teams guy. You can see him on the sidelines when the offense or defense is out there. He is into the game. Made several plays in that Jacksonville game, but that one where he caused the fumble and recovered the fumble was huge. The offensive line performance against Jacksonville, was it their most complete of the season to date? Well, they did. A, they really did a good job. You know, I thought, you know, we knew that that, that front seven was going to be a challenge for us uh, that Jacksonville's got. They've got a lot of playmakers up there. And, and for us to battle away and really only allow one sack and pave the way for 200 yards plus rushing, that was a good day. Now, the numbers are a little skewed because the Titans went up 35 to 3. But what did you like about the Titans' defensive performance against the Jags? Well, I thought that we battled. You know, and I thought going into the game, one of the things that, that we talked about was eliminating the explosive plays that Jacksonville has really feasted on over the course of the season so far. To only allow two plays over 20 yards and one run over that was 16 yards, I thought we kind of thwarted really a strong suit of their football team and, and were able to capitalize on that. Focus stays in the AFC South. New opponent this weekend, Indianapolis. What's different about the Colts from week two when you saw them until now? Well, I think they've kind of found their groove of what's working for them. You know, they, they like to run the football. They've got a big quarterback that's, that's hard to tackle. He can keep plays alive. He can push the ball downfield because they've got some speed guys. Defensively, they're really aggressive attacking style with fast linebackers. You mentioned the Colts run game. What is it that makes it so effective? Well, I think it starts up front. You know, those, that, those offensive linemen, they've got a bunch of big guys that really move well. They create holes for those backs. The backs are extremely patient. They make you play gap disciplined on defense. And if you're out of your gap, you know, they're gonna exploit you and break off big games. So how do the Tennessee Titans go to Indianapolis this Sunday and knock off the Colts at Lucas Oil Stadium? Well, I think it's going to be another four-quarter battle for us. We've got to try to slow down this run attack that they've got. We've got to put pressure on Jacoby. And then offensively for us, we've got to stick with what's working for us. We've got to stay in our group, you know, run the football, play action, set up some big plays for us.